Welcome back. In this segment of our show, we are joined by one of the members of our board of directors, our resident board of directors. Is that the right term? It's actually director living in community. Oh, that's too they hard. They made it challenging. <laughs> so this is Peggy Kellers. Hi. And Peggy is our resident living in the community. And what does that mean? Well, on our board, which is the Green Spring Board, we have 15 board members who are working outside. Right. And then we have always have a director living in the community and because they're so um, focused on the experiences of the residents right. and also the, the upcoming residents. So they're, uh, they want to have that connection. So they, they want somebody who knows what it's really like who lives here. Yes. And yeah. we don't micromanage, but we also can give a pretty broad perspective of some of the things that are going on. Mm -hmm. Does the board of directors, um, no, that isn't what I wanted to ask you, um, do you have the same voting power on the board of directors as all of the other board members? Yes. So they, they look at a director in community as equal to any other director. Okay. That was emphasized early on mm -hmm. when, it, when I came on in June. Interesting. And this is a, a position that you competed for? Yes. Yes. Okay. When Roy O'Connor resigned, mm -hmm. uh, we all got a letter in our cubby right. and kind of the application process. And so then we went through, uh, I don't know how many people applied, but the uh, Community Relations Committee, which is Jackson Bain, Eileen Erstad, and was Roy Three of the boards of interviewed, board screened, interviewed, and that kind of thing, and then chose. And then, of course, that has to go up to the umbrella board the right. national senior campuses for approval right so this is a this is a big hoo-ha this is a big job and i think you're it, the right person it is. in it. it what i like about it is it's big picture right i know you said to me yeah. that that's what you'd like yeah. you're, you're not down to what the font size I is have, on the paper you're, i have trouble when i get stuck in the weeds you're more <laughs> that, that we just call it overarching there you go yes there right you go. so one of the things that the board of directors is very interested in is the resident satisfaction yes. survey yes Talk and to i'm going to plug that today go for it so i have this is the newest version of the resident satisfaction survey and we just had it extended the deadline was supposed to be this friday the 18th it's now next friday the 25th and this looks different so i want you to take a good look at it and check your pile of papers yes to it, see it if could you be in your junk it. mail pile yes it could and then the online version is due on tuesday the 29th and we really want to help people if they have trouble filling it out. You know, you have to yes. color in the bubbles and that kind of thing. We're not here to persuade you as to how you should answer it, but I would encourage you to ask a neighbor, maybe, you know, ask a friend, would you help me? And if you need a copy of this, these are available in the administrative office in town as center. I, as I was telling you, I was walking down the hall last night and, and mm -hmm. met a, a man and his daughter coming down the hall and he hadn't filled it out and didn't, he didn't even know about it, didn't know where it was from, but his daughter was willing to help him mm -hmm. and he was willing to participate. Yes. So they were going to do it on the computer. I gave them the website. And so if you've lost yours, don't be afraid to ask for another right. one. They're in the front office or they can give you the website if you have a computer. And if you need help doing it, if you can't see well, mm -hmm. if you need help, your hands are a little shaky, Find a neighbor. Mm -hmm. Find someone who can help and you. And Chandra and her team now this week are going to put stations up where the executive leadership team will actually be handing out okay. the, um, the envelopes. Some now, extras. obviously, they can't be the ones to help. <clears throat> but if you see them in the lobby, at least pick one up and yes. then again follow up and get someone to help right. you. Right, yes. And so the importance of the resident satisfaction survey and the employee exchange survey, which is done in August. Right. Uh, many of the residents know we have a big week long employee spirit week. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, that's a kickoff to, to them to the getting employees their employees. Survey. Whereas ours is a kickoff in September mm -hmm. in lieu of one of the coffee with the executive teams. Okay. So it's, it's a big deal it because is. as a board, we, we actually do a management performance evaluation. This is one of our key areas of responsibility mm -hmm. is being able to oversee and evaluate the management. So now I'm coming because, because I came in in June, Roy O'Connor would have done last year's 
right. results and put together with the board, mm -hmm. put together a plan. These are action plans. These are, the, these are statements of this is what you're doing well. This is what needs improvement. These are suggestions, that kind of thing. And so we take that from the employee engagement survey, which we've had a very good response. Good. I believe it's over 80%. Wonderful. But the resident satisfaction survey is only at 50%. So and we need to encourage people. Yes. Yes. And so then what we're going to do in January, we get the verbatims, which is a that's, thick, that's the That's the handwritten that's the part. the handwritten comments or the, or the typed part. And they all get put together. And it's it's probably 270 pages and now as does anybody read that oh yeah <laughs> that being on the executive committee on mm -hmm. the council for the last three years I read them and then last year I actually was asked to put together kind of an outline of um, drivers what okay. they call drivers yes and that information then helped the staff the executive team form an action plan I know that we and our dining services committee, one of the dining room managers was with us the other day and he said that, that yes, you know, down at his level, at the dining room manager, they get every item that comes yes. through on a verbatim and they must put together an action plan yes. in response to what this person said. Yes. So don't be afraid to, to respond, don't be afraid to put down, and don't let, don't let the fact that last night's green beans weren't cooked the way you want That's them. That's right give you give all of dining services a bad name right it's, just, it's that one little thing i just did mine yesterday and i was a little head up about parking <laughs> but i didn't mark down all of general services just because there's yes. a little parking challenge yes yeah so just you know keep it in perspective right and that verbatim you can i typed a lot Okay, good. Oh, I'm, I'm sure you can hardly wait to see it. <laughs> well, <laughs> but another I, I piece, put in a lot, and, and there's space to do it, is the point. Yes, there is. And I think the other piece the residents need to be reminded about is this, this survey does not come from Erickson Living Management. Right. Or cor what we call corporate. Right. This is a board-chosen survey and required. <laughs> so, and it's because it's that important. The residents' information is so important to us that we go to great lengths to get this thing completed. And I'm glad you said that because a lot of people say, well, Erickson just wants to, to yeah, they just want to look good. It really isn't about Erickson. It's to be reminded that here is our board. Yes. The board hires Erickson yes. to manage this for us. Yes. And what this survey does is gives some feedback that the board can use as they interact with Erickson. Mm -hmm. Is that correct mm -hmm. said? That's correct. Okay. Because our oversight role is significant. It's one of probably two or three really important pieces. You know, we're, we're committed to keeping the financial situation intact right. and that kind of thing. But the management is a big area for us. And not only is it here at the Greenspring level, but then the corporate executive team also has significant interaction with the NSC executive committee so that would be the chair the vice chair mm -hmm. secretary treasurer so it's at the higher level also right. which i'm not in on right. but you know we we have kind of two places that we go to and and have that interaction and i must say that nsc has an excellent relationship now what with, what is nsc can you explain that to us okay it's national senior campuses mm -hmm. it's the largest board in the country and they uh, are over our 15 not-for-profit, er what I call Erickson communities. And so that, that's where it gets confusing because it, it says is. they're over the Erickson communities. But in the case of Greenspring, Erickson doesn't own us anymore. That's right. So there are various situations. So it, I should say Erickson managed communities, yes. right? Okay. And non-for-profit. So, and there are two levels of communities, as you probably know. We have the mature communities, which are the people that are, they're the communities that have already built out mm -hmm. to kind of to the max. And they are in and of themselves incorporated. So Greenspring right. Village incorporated. Greenspring owns Greenspring. Right. The developing communities such as Ashby Ponds, you know, they're still in the building phase. Right. So they're so they're at a different place. They have yet to kind of purchase themselves. It's kind of like a a a new housing complex mm -hmm. or a new condo complex. When you first start, really the the board 
is made up of the builders right. and those folks. But then when, when it's full and mature, mm -hmm. then it's turned over to a group of homeowners. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a kind of a board there, and, and the other one takes a back seat. Right. Yeah. And with this board, they've been established since Charlestown, since after Charlestown. So their first commitments were to Oakcrest and to Riderwood. Okay. Those were the earliest communities, and then Greenspring came. So, um, th so they've been with us since the 80s. That's right. Right, and they've really done some really nice things in looking long term, and most importantly, to make sure that the current residents and the future residents are going to be taken care of. We're going to be able to help continue with the affordability piece. And you, and I'm sure you're, you're when you talk about what the board does versus a resident is worried about the color of the paint on the wall. Yes. The board is looking at, at a higher yes. level, but all for our own good. Right, and so to pick up on your analogy, the board is looking to see if there's a better quality paint okay. out there, good. okay? Yes. And we don't necessarily care about the color. Right. Um, and, and I used to use this analogy with my staff. You know, it, when you take a cake, I want it to look good, I want it to be attractive, but most importantly, I want it to have great ingredients and I want it to taste good. So I would tell them, they would come in and I'd say, this isn't about the cake, this is about the icing. So right. they knew that they were handling that right. piece because it had to do with the icing. So that's kind of how we work with the board and they're really committed to quality experiences. That's terrific. And affordability. Yeah, yeah. I've been Sometimes very Sometimes it's hard to understand the, the relationships. It but, is. But the bottom line is that the board is, is really our overseer. They yes. are really taking care of yes. us. They've hired Erickson yes, to manage good. what we have, yes. and we're all enjoying living here. Yes, that's and we part. also take very good information from the council. Yes, so that's that's, that's an piece. important link, right? Yes. So that's why. So the bottom line is really for us as residents to communicate in any way we need to, whether it's through the survey, whether it's through comment cards, yes. whether it's in the town halls, whether it's the listening posts. There are lots of ways to communicate. But the real message is someone is listening. That's right. And what I'm trying to do this year is kind of demystify the board. Uh -huh. So I've, I'm doing four quarterly articles in the Villagers. So Good. my first one came out in July, and that was about the vision and about how we move forward. Mm -hmm. This one that's coming out in October is about the resident fees and how those work. Okay. So and then in well, January, we'll I'll have that. my next one. Good. <laughs>